Just wanted to take a sec before this video begins to let you guys know the Grind Zone giveaway for Super Smash Bros Ultimate is still going strong. If you haven't had the chance to enter just yet, the link will be down in the description and in the comment section down below. Best of luck to everyone who enters, and now on to the video. On November 10th, 2018, during the Inside Xbox Expo, we received a brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, making this the second trailer we've gotten for this game in one week's time. Now, it has been a bit debatable that the trailer contains minor spoilers to the full game of Kingdom Hearts 3, but I'm sure majority of people watching this video already have seen the Winnie the Pooh trailer that was released today. Now, back on September 17th, the TGS Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer was released and we finally saw the extended version of the shorter trailer we saw previously and got an in-depth look at one of the first world ever revealed for Kingdom Hearts 3, Big Hero 6. And I'm sure many of you watching have your own thoughts on that trailer, but this is me saying that I thought this was the best trailer we had seen yet. Not only for the reveal of Big Hero 6, but because of minor insight into a returning character for Kingdom Hearts 3, that being Roxas. Now, say what you will about Roxas, but personally, I've always felt that Roxas was a character that didn't deserve the traumatic experiences he had to endure. Becoming a nobody, born without a point of existing, no known destiny to speak of, then being adopted into a family of people with malicious intentions, many of them being tricked by an unseen hand, though not all was a nightmare for Roxas. During his days as a member of Organization 13, Roxas had two best friends by his side, as he can confide in and feel comfortable around those people, those being Shion, the physical manifestation of Sora's memories through a puppet that Vexen created created, and Axel, the nobody of Lee who befriended the young Ventus many years ago in Birth by Sleep. Though eventually during their year-long friendship, many cracks began to appear in the seams of what thought was to last forever ended with all three splitting apart never thinking to be reunited ever again. Though, now that I think about it, to a certain degree, that's not entirely true, and that weaves into why I believe Roxas has returned. Though for this video, I'm going to be focusing on what exactly is Roxas' mission in Kingdom Hearts 3, and not exactly how he's returned, for that's another video. Towards the end of 358 Days Over 2, when Axel and Shion are having their battle because of Shion trying to escape the organization, and Axel trying to convince her to stay, Axel makes a promise not just to her, but to both of his best friends, that he'll always be there to bring them back. Which let me say really added impactful moments during this cutscene as it really showed a side of Axel we rarely got to see as getting emotional wasn't really Axel's style if you've seen and played the games but thanks to the events of Kingdom Hearts 2 we thought that promise was null and void because Axel dying in an attempt to wipe out the overwhelming amounts of dust surrounding both him and Sora and that's when Dream Drop Distance was released in 2012. At the beginning of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance we see a first person perspective of someone waking up in what appears to be anti him the wise's laboratory surrounded by other black coated figures as they walk up to the window to see their reflection it reveals that axel was indeed alive once again that's when the game revealed to us that nobodies do indeed have hearts when told otherwise and after dying they revert back to being full people once again so now the dead axel has regained consciousness as lee and with this said i feel this ties into what roxas's purpose is in kingdom hearts 3. now with the end of events of dream drop distance axel gained the power of the keyblade and fights alongside the guardians of light against the new 13 Seekers of Darkness. But I feel not at all as it seems. Knowing the craftiness of Xehanort, he's taken many precautions to ensure his victory over the Guardians, and I feel this is when Shion comes into play. Being that Shion is just a puppet, I don't think it's out of the question to say she's been programmed to fight by Xehanort's side. The same seems to have befallen of Data Riku from Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Him being Data makes it easy to rewrite the programming of him and to have him as an ally. This into account, I feel Roxas truly believes his friends are alive just as he is and wants to reunite with them so they can all be together forever like they once dreamed of and to eat ice cream and make jokes together again with his best friend. With that being said, the first step is to acquire both friends back safe and at the end of the Big Hero 6 trailer, I feel this is where he first encounters Shion, who appears to be on the far right side of the line that we see in the Winnie the Pooh trailer, working alongside Xehanort. As you can see, based off of what appears to be the continuation of the previous stated Roxas cutscene in this Winnie the Pooh trailer, we see a clip of the 13 darknesses on what appears to be the ruin of a building. Then the camera jumps to them all staring down at the ground beneath them for an unshown reason. I think that was Roxas down there, revealing himself by removing his hood, dual keyblades in hand, ready to fight whoever or however many to get his friend back. I truly think Roxas' goals aren't truly to stop a war from starting or anything heroic as picking a side to join. All he wants are his best friends back. And I think that's exactly what he wants to do. 
If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. You've really helped in making this channel grow. And if you enjoyed, why not subscribe? Hitting the bell will make sure you never miss a video again. And leaving a like would show me you guys love Kingdom Hearts and would love to see more content of it. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Kingdom Ace, and remember my loyal knights to always look skyward.